everybody. Welcome fiber friends. This is Karen. Uh, Brian is in a meeting. So um, we uh, both work from home and um, he is in a meeting and I am needing a break. <laughs> so I was thinking of, uh, you know, I need em emotional and mental health and, and uh, my crocheting and my joy, er, my crocheting and my yarn bring me great joy. And so do you guys. So, <clears throat> hopping on. I'm doing okay. Brian's doing okay. We're doing great, actually. Uh, but, um, uh, for me, for my business, um, it's, it's been tough. It's not been tough sales-wise, thank God. It's just how do we get product to people when we're not allowed to go uh, have our shipping department working. <laughs> Tends to put a little little monkey in the uh, in the whole works. So um, yeah, so it's been it's been good. And thank God people love our stuff. Yay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my, um, the company that I co-own is called Style Dots. S-T-Y-L-E-D-O-T-S, like polka dots. StyleDotsHome.com. You can see all about it. But, um, we're, and we're taking orders and people are sending in orders <laughs> even though we tell them. Hey, it's not looking like you're going to get your stuff for at least three weeks. You know, we're, we can start shipping in about three weeks is what the latest is. But we'll see. This whole this whole COVID-19 thing is not... Uh... Yeah, it's hard to see when your business is really doing well, extremely well, and then something like this comes along and they're like, Hey, you got to stop what you're doing and send everybody home. <laughs> Talk about taking the air out of the tires. So, anyhow. Anyhow, so then I think, well, let's see here. I've done all I can do for today. So, I'm going to crochet. <laughs> and I'm going to have fun. And that's where you guys come along. So, hi to everyone. Brian and I love you. We love doing fiber hearts. It's a hoot. Um, okay. I have been uh, reorganizing some of my yarn. Because A, I love playing with yarn, and B, um, it needed to be reorganized. So I thought I would show you some of my pretties. I got pretties. I'm sure you guys have seen all these before, but uh, I just was looking at them going, wow, those are really pretty. <laughs> so, so <coughs> one of my favorite yarns, oh, I was supposed to cough into my elbow there, so apologies. One of my favorite yarns is... Um, is the Soft and Shiny from Loops and Thread. You can get it at Michael's. I like their colors. I really like their colors. And um, they're super soft. They are soft and shiny, by the way. <laughs> and they kind of feel like... I mean, they're almost, almost identical to me as uh, Caron Simply Soft. Okay, they're just a little bit looser in their... Whatever those um going on the yarn how it spins around like that on the like let me show you what I mean so here's loops and thread right how that's done and here's a caron how that's done you see how it's a tighter tighter weave and a little more of a halo okay but this is um <laughs> this is just aqua i guess so this is their aqua now well it says aqua slash turquoise i don't know anyway that's what that is isn't that pretty i don't know what i'm gonna make with it yet but i'm gonna make something this is their no this is a caron i'll leave that for a minute and look at this pretty one um this is, ooh, Smoky Rose. Smoky Rose. Isn't that pretty? It's so soft. These are super soft. I mean, perfect for baby blankets and all that. So that's cool. This one is... Um, 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 
Lavender Fields. Lavender Fields. So pretty. Yay. I've made little preemie blankets with these and all that because they're so, you know, they're so squishy and soft. I think this one's pretty, and I've been kind of having a hard time finding more of these. There's, and I don't think I have the other one. I think they have, this is iced coffee. Okay, again, soft and shiny from Loops and Threads. So this is iced coffee. This one, and I think there's one called Champagne. And those ones are, they run out, man. I never, I can hardly ever find them in the store. I might have to buy them online because, but even in, online sometimes, and these go quick. I don't know what's going on over at Michael's, but they're uh, the the soft and shiny uh, loops and threads. Whew. Man, even online, it's hard. They're hard to be in stock. You'll go and you'll be like, oh, I want this one, this one. And then they're not in stock. So you're like, well, what the heck? And then um, this one is... What are you? Mellow green. Mellow green. Look at these together. I think they're so pretty together. I mean, come on. Aren't those pretty together? That's a Caron. We can move you. Oh, and I can put this one over here. Look at these together. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? They even go together really nice. I don't know what I'm going to make with them, but I like them. I do. I like them. I like them. And then I have some Kirons, you know, and both with the Kiron and with the soft and shiny, yes, they can be a little splitty, okay? They can be a little splitty. Um, they're not too bad for me so far, so good, but uh, sometimes I got to fool with, you know, kind of the, the hook size just so that I can... Um, you know, because sometimes a little bigger hook or maybe even a little smaller hook, something, something, for some reason doesn't end up being quite as splitty. So, okay. But this is the carrot, one of the Charons. This is, um, well, what do you say? Oh, watermelon. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Watermelon. And then we got... Pagoda. Pagoda. That's cool. And then this one is the... Soft Green. Soft Green. Just show you those three together. I don't know if they really go together or not. I guess they can. Why not? <clears throat> See, coughing into my elbow. Okay. I get on here and then I get to hacking. I don't know why, because I'm not sick. Mm. Allergies. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Man down. Man down. Yarn down. I missed one. <laughs> I have this one, too. The Caron. Caron. Pumpkin. The Caron Pumpkin. Come here. Let's see which one of these goes together. Couldn't those two go together? The Pagoda and the Pumpkin? I think they could go together for something. <laughs> I like that. Anyhow, okay. Um... So I thought I'd hop on here. This is my hair, yes. Okay, just to let you know, you every time you see me, you will see a different look. Because <laughs> my hair has a mind of its own. And it's, um, and yes, I have brushed it this morning. It is brushed. <laughs> and this is what it decided to be today. So I just sort of go with it. Okay, all right. Uh, <clears throat> we are. Trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. If you are not a subscriber, please do. Uh, would love to have you subscribe. Would love to have you hit that uh, button. Brian and I go live about every two weeks. 
where we show you all our finished objects, etc., etc. And yes, Brian does crochet himself. Okay, um, what else is going on? Oh, I do have some finished objects, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for another time to show you some of my finished objects and some of my, you know, my whips. Um, I'm still working on uh, Ricky's scarf, <laughs> his black scarf. I just need to get it done so that it's done <laughs> and just out of the way because I don't normally work with black. And this is a dark black, man. This is legit. And so, you know, it's, uh, I, I have to like work on it early during the day because it seems like at night I can't see a thing. I don't know where, I don't know where that stitch is. It's in here somewhere and I got my lights on and everything and I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so you can see I try to avoid black. Um, anyhow, I'm just reorganizing my yarn and trying to get it so that I can find things and and if I've got extras of things and stuff like that. Anyhow, okay, that was it. I just needed to say stop, hop on. This social distancing thing is ridiculous. Plus, I, you know, I try to take breaks, mental health breaks. If you're a business owner right now, hugs to you, my friend, from a distance, of course, six feet. But uh, it's tough. It is tough. It's tough. It's one thing if your business wasn't doing too well and you're, you know, you were on trying to keep it going and all that. And, you know, and, you know, I, I can't imagine something like this come along. But when you're doing great guns and everything's going right and you've got literally hundreds and hundreds of sales reps across the United States who, you know, now have been laid off and are depending on this part time gig of theirs more than ever and the only reason why it's not going is only because we can't aren't supposed to be at the warehouse right now shipping product i mean that's rough and some of these companies that are saying oh don't worry we're still shipping yeah they're defying their orders <laughs> yeah they are and uh they're definitely interpreting things in their way and um We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And every state has its own different thing. So, um, but ours is in Michigan and uh, the governor of Michigan is pretty strict. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, and then some of these have distribution centers that are not, that haven't been restricted yet. So lucky them. I noticed that Jimmy Bean in, in Nevada is still shipping they, they won't let you come to their store, but they'll ship you product. So, okay. Must be nice. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go keep reorganizing. I'm gonna go uh, work on some projects. Find my happy place. Enjoy watching more of all y'all's videos. And um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Thanks for everything. Woohoo! Let's get over 2,000 subscribers. So apparently, I guess, if you keep, if you do it like every day for a while or something, you're in front of more people and then more you get more subscribers. I don't know what happens. Anyway, I just would like to get over the 2,000 mark. We're so close. So, okay. Thanks for everything. See you soon. Bye.